Let's face it, nowadays the challenges of maintaining and supporting an AV system are very real. More and more, IT administrators and facilities managers like this hey, guy I'm trying to eat here. are being asked to reduce their AV support costs and ensure maximum uptime of multiple AV systems. Yeah, why is that so hard? Well, we're gonna find out because at this very moment, there is a room full of frustrated people who are just trying to get their meeting started. But I'm starving. Starving for a better solution. What? Listen, whether you are maintaining the boardroom that's down the hall, or a restaurant or hotel in multiple cities, or theme parks and movie theaters across the country, you're probably dealing with the same common denominator. Yeah, angry people. No. <laughs> Okay, yeah, sometimes that's the problem. But the real problem is that these standalone systems, they set the stage for just a bad user experience for everybody involved. Yeah, disparate components make it really hard to monitor and quickly diagnose the system before it affects the end users. Exactly, it's one blind reactionary fire drill after another. You wanna try fixing it? It gets expensive to send your top tier technician into the room to fix something that could be solved on the user interface. Today, huh? What are you even doing? Unbelievable. I see the problem is that your privacy mode is engaged. That should take care of that. We're all ready for a good meeting. All fixed without ever putting boots on the ground. At least, not my boots. Wait, how did you do that? Are you some kind of wizard? No, I simply have QSIS Reflect Enterprise Manager. What's that? It's a secure cloud-based monitoring and managing system for the QSIS ecosystem. And with it, I can see that you've got another problem in the downstairs boardroom. Wait, wait what? Better keep running. So, every single QSIS core can already provide audio, video, and control programming for all of its own peripheral devices, which can be added natively, or third-party devices, which work just as well. And you can connect a core up to the Reflect Enterprise Manager and get data on all of those systems without any programming, usually before the user ever notices. Sweet! I thought you said there was something broken in here. There's nobody in here. Enterprise Manager already alerted me to the problem and I got an email about it. So don't worry, I'm managing it. You can get on-screen notifications or deliver any of this data to any modern IT monitoring service as well. That means you can diagnose the system and then take action, which I've done. In this case, I've sent one of my lower tier technicians into the room with the data that I got so that he knows what he needs to do to fix it. All done. Loose cable. Hey, wait a minute. This is not a QSIS peripheral. No, QSIS can manage native devices and third-party devices. And I can see that you've got another problem in another building. You're gonna have to start running for this one. Sorry, go, 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 go. Come on! Speaking of other buildings, because it's cloud-based, you can use this to manage your systems that are in your campus or in different cities or really anywhere across the world. Oh, hey, careful, it's raining outside, so you might want Wait, to- Wait, it's not raining? Listen, sometimes when you're upgrading your system, you may need to revert the design to a previously working system, or- Wait, what's wrong with the system? Well, sometimes you may need to replace a device that got damaged or something like that. Hey, I think we're in big trouble there. Do you still have that design that we installed last week? Rather than dealing with the downtime associated of someone running to the building, your enterprise manager can store old versions so that you or your integrator can upload the design remotely from the cloud. I made it! What am I supposed to do again? Nothing, I already uploaded the system from your laptop. All right, you think you're so smart, but I bet you that it takes a lot of time and effort to get the QSIS system to talk to the QSIS Reflect Enterprise Manager. And I bet you, you need to do it before the system gets installed. No, I could hook up a core that's on the other side of the world before you even get back to your side of our cubicle. You're on. <laughs> Good luck. You see, Every single other provider promises a lot of value when you hook up their devices to their monitoring service. But to do so is a lot of time and a lot of expense too. You see, every single peripheral needs to be individually connected. Oh, watch out! But the QSIS peripherals are a lot easier to connect because the core is already doing all of the heavy lifting for you automatically. Move it! I am moving it. I'm trying to connect to a system that's on the other side of the country here, okay? Are you kidding me? No, I told you I was gonna do that. All you need to do is make sure that the system has the proper firmware, which it does. I'll copy this code right here from my core manager, and then apply that to my enterprise manager. Simply add a core and paste it here. And voila, we're good to go. That core is already delivering all of its information securely and automatically to the cloud. That means you can start making more informed decisions about what you need to do. This is for me. <laughs> and if you can't do that by the time you get back to the cube, well then you can you can have your breakfast. Watch where you're going. I made 
made it! No, you didn't. I finished a minute ago. If you want to start your trial, go to qsc.com slash reflect. What happened to you?